Welcome back to the channel Linux fans. Today we are diving deep into a comparison between two of the most popular Linux distributions for new users and those transitioning from Windows or Mac OS, Zorin OS 17.1 and Elementary OS 7. These two operating systems aim to provide a user-friendly and a beautiful desktop experience. But which one is better suited for you? Stick around to find out. Let's start with a brief overview of what each operating system brings to the table. Zorin OS 17.1 is designed to make your computer faster, more powerful, and secure, offering a familiar experience for users coming from Windows or Mac OS. On the other hand, Elementary OS focuses on simplicity, elegance, and minimalism, providing a destruction-free environment that emphasizes design consistency. Zorin OS is perfect for users who want flexibility and customization, particularly those who may still need to run Windows applications on Linux. Meanwhile, Elementary OS is tailored for users who appreciate a sleek, cohesive interface and don't mind trading customization for simplicity. Let's dive into the user interface and experience. Zorin OS 17.1 uses the Zorin Desktop, which is based on GNOME and offers multiple layout options. Whether you are used to Windows 11, Windows 7, or Mac OS, Zorin OS has a layout for you. This flexibility is a key feature that makes Zorin OS stand out, allowing you to tailor your desktop environment to your exact preferences. In contrast, Elementary OS 7 is all about consistency and minimalism. The Pantheon desktop environment is designed to be intuitive, simple, and elegant with every element carefully crafted to fit the overall aesthetic. While you can't customize the interface as much as with Zorin, Pantheon's design consistency ensures that the user experience remains seamless and destruction-free. Next, let's talk about software availability and package management. Zorin OS 17.1 comes with the GNOME Software Center, which supports dev packages, snaps, flat packs, and app image. This gives you access to a vast array of software, from traditional Linux applications to more recent cross-platform options. Elementary OS 7, on the other hand, emphasizes using native application from its app center. The app center features a curated selection of apps designed specifically for Elementary OS, ensuring a consistent look and feel across the board. While it supports flat packs, the lack of snap and depth support out of the box might be limiting for some users. Elementary's approach keeps things simple and ensures that the user experience remains polished but at the cost of its flexibility. When it comes to performance, both Zorin OS 17.1 and Elementary OS 7 are optimized for speed and efficiency. But there are some key differences. Zorin OS is designed to run on a wide range of hardware from modern systems to older machines. However, its feature-rich desktop environment requires slightly more resources compared to elementary OS. You'll need at least 4 GBs of RAM for a smooth experience, although it can run on systems with as little as 2 GB. Elementary OS 7 is known for its lightweight performance, making it an excellent choice for older or less powerful hardware. The minimalist Pantheon desktop environment is resource efficient, ensuring that Elementary OS remains responsive even on low spec machines. This makes Elementary a great option if you are working with limited resources. Now, let's look at customization and flexibility. Zorin OS 17.1 shines in this area, offering a wide range of customization options right out of the box. Whether you want to tweak the look and feel of your desktop, install new layouts, or configure system settings, Zorin OS gives you the tools to make your system truly your own. Elementary OS, however, takes a different approach. The customization options are limited, reflecting its focus on maintaining a consistent and cohesive user experience. While you can change some settings, the overall look and feel of Elementary OS are more locked down compared to Zorin. This can be seen as both a strength and a limitation depending on your perspective. Finally, 
Let's discuss updates and support. Zorin OS 17.1 is based on Ubuntu, meaning it benefits from regular security updates and a vast support community. The Zorin team also offers paid support for users who opt for the Pro version, ensuring that you can get help when you need it. Elementary OS 7 also provides regular updates, particularly through its App Center. The development team is small but dedicated, focused on delivering a stable and a secure experience. However, the community around Elementary OS is smaller and support may not be as extensive as with Zorin. So, which one should you choose? Both Zorin OS 17.1 and elementary OS 7 have their strengths, but they cater to different types of users. If you value flexibility, customization, and the ability to run Windows application, Zorin OS is the clearer winner. Its wide range of features and layouts make it adaptable to almost any user needs. Elementary OS 7, while elegant and consistent, is more limited in terms of customization and software availability. It's perfect for users who prefer a simple, destruction-free environment and don't mind working within a controlled ecosystem. In the end, if you're looking for an operating system that offers more control, versatility, and compatibility, Zorin OS 17.1 edges out elementary OS as the better choice for most users. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comment section which OS you prefer and why. See you on the next one.